Yo, what's going on guys? And today we got a nice video for you. And today we'll be talking about Tyron Lue's expected to remain the head coach of the Los Angeles Clippers. And this is because, look, with the new collective bargaining agreement, basically the, the report is, is that coaching now matters more than it ever has. Sorry if that hurt your ears, but the Suns, according to reports, had interest in Clippers head coach Ty Lue. But multiple people with knowledge of the current coaching searches expect Ty Lue to remain with the Clippers and not be a viable option for any current openings. And they're saying that, like, he's probably going to get a new deal with maybe a year or two added as an extension, but also they're going to give him more money. And he's under contract for the team. And this is coming from Sportsnet New York. And I'm not surprised. And this is because we're hearing that with the new collective bargaining agreement taking effect next year and the expectation that roster construction is going to be a lot more restrictive amongst existing contenders there will be an even greater competitive advantage for having head coaches who are able to get the most out of their roster and ty Lue's one of those guys so this is why we're seeing and brian windhorse said it best is one of the reasons teams are making these moves is they're sort of forecasting that the new rules that are coming into effect it's going to be harder to assemble huge groups of talent there's a feeling in the league that there's going to be more parity like we saw this year already without the new rules. So if you have parity, coaching takes on an even more important role. So these teams are making moves and trying to jostle position. So they're there. And these are huge decisions being made. And Ty Lue's a good coach. We all know Ty Lue's a good coach. So for me, when I look at this situation, I think, all right, this is kind of eerily rem reminiscent to when we looked at it a, a few, you know, a few weeks ago that this for Ty Lu, the Clippers, especially they're going to be moving into a new arena. They want star power. OK, so that's why they're keeping Paul George and Kawhi. They're probably going to retool this offseason in the sense that maybe Nick Batum, Robert Covington are going to be guys that we see on the way out. Maybe Marcus Morris. I think they would keep Eric Gordon, but maybe they'll, they'll go a bit younger in the sense, try to get guys like mm, it's hard it's hard to think who's going to be available that can be a difference i mean they could also run back the group for like year five or whatever it'd be and it's just interesting when you look at the current situation because this is a team that's definitely trying to you know win win and I know it's it's hard, but what do you guys think? Okay, let me know your thoughts. But that is going to be basically the video for today. I, I really don't see what else we could talk about unless I'd be wasting your time. So that's kind of how I'm I'm at right now. I just try try to go until I feel like I'm starting to waste your time. Someone's gonna say, "Well, you wasted my time this whole video, and you suck." <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. So I hope you guys do have a good one. Let me know if there was anything you guys would have liked to heard that I might have glossed over. But I definitely think with Ty Lue just staying, it just means they're staying with this core of this roster. They believe in it. And the belief is that if they're healthy, they can they can make some noise and that all they need to do is retool. Hope they keep Mason Plumley. My girlfriend's favorite basketball player is Mason Plumley. So I hope he, I hope he stays because I know she'd be happy. But she's not she's a Nuggets fan, but because she's from Colorado and that's how she became a fan of his but either way my, my statement stays the same so again guys I hope you guys did enjoy today if there was anything you guys would have liked to have heard let me know and yeah I think that's where we're gonna go because I do have other videos to make so hit that like and subscribe button we're on the way to yes 20,000 subscribers yep 20,000 so if you guys want to help us, you would, you know, mean the world. So I don't know, guys, that's it. I feel like I'm wasting your time at this point. And if you made it to this point, you should just have already hit the like and subscribe button because you clearly like me.